It's Friday. Time for another weekly update. This month's Employees of the Month are the team members at the Knoxville Knox County Emergency Management Agency. Diane Fox, Sarah DeLosher, Marcus Shepard, Suzanne Rimmer, and Colin Ickes. KEMA does a tremendous job of disaster response preparedness and coordination among responding agencies when bad things happen. We are so proud of all the work that they do. Also, congratulations and thank you to the Knoxville Regional Transportation Organization's Director, Jeff Welch, on his retirement. Jeff has served with Knoxville Knox County Planning for 38 years and has been part of many landmark projects. Thank you, Jeff, and you will be missed. Congratulations as well to the Knox County Procurement Office, which has once again been accredited by the National Association of Governmental Purchasing and earned the prestigious Quality Public Procurement Department's award. Only about 1% of the Institute's 3,100 members receive this honor each year. Fantastic work by our procurement folks. Zoo Knoxville just celebrated their 75th anniversary. Zoo Knoxville was founded in 1948 in the Birthday Park Zoo in Chilhowee Park when an American alligator named Al came to live there. In 1963, the community rallied to build a barn for Old Diamond, an African elephant left behind by Ringling Brothers Circus. In 1970, Guy Smith became the acting director, saving the zoo from closing and laying the foundation for the zoo's growth. With recent expansion and exhibits added, there's never been a better time to visit Zoo Knoxville. I sometimes hear people say that we have an outstanding zoo for a community our size. Folks, we have an outstanding zoo, period. Here's to another great 75 years. Speaking of fun things to do, Hasbro is bringing a Nerf theme attraction to our neighbors in Pigeon Forge. The company made the announcement Wednesday, saying the Nerf action experience will include an arena with battle zones, an obstacle course, and a retail store. The facility is planned to be 29,000 square feet. In addition to the area for Nerf battles, it will feature sports challenges and a food and drink court. It's Nerf or nothing. You'll notice the blue tick hound prominently displayed on my orange shirt. Smokey is back and will be on the sidelines tomorrow as the University of Tennessee football Vols open the season against Virginia at Nissan Stadium in Nashville. The Vols are favored by four touchdowns, so it should be a great start to Smokey 11's second year on the roster. Just a reminder, Knox County offices will be closed Monday in observance of Labor Day. Until next Friday, I hope everyone has a great week and a safe, fun Labor Day. And go Vols!